run down, you know I'ma throw it. Try to run down, you know I ain't falling. Fuck it. Get to the business and all of these bitches, they know it's a clip. What's a clip? Still in their feelings, they pray and I fail. But watching me win and they hoping I lose. But watching me get it, I'm playing the guard. The one of you niggas gonna try to jump back so I can roll in. My body is different. Been sitting outside the lot. I told you I'm shit and I live in the age. Still dropping no book on a queen, still getting on living. I see what you with it. Hold up, niggas got quiet and talking the shit that I'm talking this shit for the gang. Big boy, you are. Trust me, I really be on it. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it. Yeah. On the front of the money, I get it, you dummies, I move with them bricks, and I'm ready to shake, I don't fuck with no niggas that's dropping no bricks, I ain't in it, that shit, I ain't buzzing no bricks, got a stand for stealing my grinds, they fix the way, and it's sucking the phone with mistakes, put it together and keep it in play, be with extra, you live every day, and I keep me a hustle, my guy, get paid, she's a bitch like a pill, she wanna get laid, I don't focus on niggas, they trying to get paid, bottles are hitting, no fuck with no skate, I love for the fuck, just shout out to Jay, dripping the power, I'm proud every day, these niggas is bullshit, they really be fake, I ain't pressure shit, my nigga, I swear, I'm proud, 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 I'm proud,
This is the little movie he made right here. He made this. Stevie J made this movie right here, you heard? He like, this is a real P. Diddy party right here. He's showing everybody. Dr. Dre, Kobe, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? That go Diddy right there. This is a threat. This video right here is a threat. That go Kanye West, the Kardashians. You know what I'm saying? They go to Kardashians right here. They go Jay-Z. Uh, Beyonce, I see Kit. I got to slow it down. It's going too fast. It's like, it's a who's who of the music industry. It's a who's who of everybody's at Diddy's parties. He like, y'all playing... Y'all want to play with me? We're going to tear this whole thing down. Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg, they go Mary J. Blodge. She going down too. Queen Latifah. He like, I'm going to tear the whole industry up, man. If y'all take me down, the whole industry is coming down. That's how he giving it up, y'all. This is what Stevie J posts. This 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 video is on Stevie J's Instagram. This the who's who in in music in Hollywood. It's all kind of people in there. You slow it down, you see Kevin Hart in there, Dr. Dre. Look at Jermaine Dupree. That was Samuel Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Diddy gonna give it up. If you think Diddy's staying quiet, they're already saying Diddy was an informant. They go Snoop Dogg right in the middle of everything. He like, y'all play with me. I'm taking everybody down. That's all this video. That's all this video was right here, y'all. All this video was was just Stevie J. You know, he gave it, he gave it to he gave it to Stevie J. Yo, listen, post this video up. Let them know. These are the people that was at the party. This is the 8 o'clock party. They stayed for the after party. <laughs> y'all know I got video of the after party. So y'all play with me? I'm taking the whole industry down. You heard? That's why I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't know if if, if Diddy going to make it, man. I really, I really don't, man. They letting them stay out here. They ain't lock them up for a reason, bro. They don't want to see no Diddy trial, man. They don't want to see that Diddy not R. Kelly. Diddy, they said he was extorting. They said he was extorting everybody in the industry with all these tapes. Politicians, basketball players, other rappers, musicians, producers were all the tapes that he had. They said he was extorting everybody with that stuff. You think that was the only copies that he had in his house? You think he ain't have no backups nowhere else? He had other houses. You think that's not in the cloud nowhere? That was a threat. Stevie J posted that as a threat. Like, yo, listen. Y'all know what it is. If Diddy go down, y'all play games, and y'all mess with Diddy, everybody's going down. You <laughs> heard? Everybody's going to jail. That's what it is. That's a warning. That's all. That's a warning shot. That was a warning shot. Yo, that was a warning shot right there. That was a number of warning shot. Yo, listen. If y'all play, if y'all play with me, y'all play with Diddy, P. Diddy run a city, everybody's going to jail. I'm telling everything. They already said, they already said he was an informant. So you think he's not willing to tell? He going to tell. Salute to everybody coming up in the building right now. You just smash that like button on the way in. You know what I'm saying? But Diddy's like, what? Listen, if I go to jail, everybody's going to jail. If I go to jail, everybody's going down. How many people you think he had videos of partying with him, doing all that his at his freak offs? 
How many people in the industry for the last 30 years you think was at his free calls? Think about it. 20 rappers, 10 Holly, 10 Hollywood movie stars, 20. You know Will and Jada was there. You know Will and Jada was there. 30, 50. That was a warning shot that Stevie J sent. Stevie J sent a warning shot. Yo, Ethan, I understand, but they scared. Did he have them under pressure? Did he have them under pressure? Did he have them under pressure? He was drugging. You see the waiters? You see the waiters had all them drinks? Them drinks was had the Mickeys in them. What you think was in them drinks? You getting loose up in here. The freak off is going down. The freak off is going down. What you think? Let me tell you something. Tom Cruise. Jada Pickett Smith, Will Smith. They got legendary freak offs. They got legendary stuff. They be doing. They play run, catch, and kiss in those mansions, yo. They play all these freaky games that we don't know about. All the childhood games we played, they said Tom Cruise and Jada Will and them, they playing with the wives and the husbands, though. Jamie Foxx, all of them is down with it. All of them is down with it. Kevin Hart, all of them is down with it. Everybody is running around. Whoever you catch, it's going down. I'm telling you. Listen to the stories. The stories is coming out. Why you think he moved to L.A.? Did he want to be a part of that? Did he ain't make that? Y'all keep thinking that did he made that. Did he ain't make that? That been going on in the industry. That been going on in Hollywood. We just getting on to it. Black people just, they just let black people in. They been doing this in Hollywood since the 30s, the 20s, the 10s. You know what I'm saying? We were still slaves when they was doing all this stuff, you heard? They let us in. When we started getting our money up, they started letting us in. You know what I'm saying? They might have had some slaves in there. You know what I mean? But we didn't really know what was going on. We was just slaves then, you heard? We was just slaves then. They've been doing this in slavery in Hollywood. Hollywood ain't new. Right, say peace and loot. You already know. Word up. Straight up. They been doing it. This ain't no, this ain't no cap. This ain't no, this ain't no, they been doing it. This is a, this is, these are the facts. These are the facts. If you don't, if you don't believe it, then that's so on you. Why you think all these kids is acting strange and all the stuff we see is going on? Yo, don't curse in the chat. I don't care what you say. Just don't curse. Don't curse in the chat. But that's the that's the whole thing. Hollywood been a mess. The casting couch in Hollywood been legendary. That been legendary. The casting couch. The casting couch is old news. They been they been doing the casting couch, you heard? They been doing that. They been doing that. And you got to understand something about Hollywood because once you get into them 
once you get into them upper millions, the 50 million, them 100 millions, once you become a superstar in America, all the stars hang together. Whether you're a movie star or a music star. And you got to remember, Hollywood, they didn't only make legendary movie stars. Hollywood made musicians big. Tupac got bigger once he started messing with Hollywood. Once Tupac started making movies, that blew him out the water. That's why, that's why Tupac was really one of the best artists because he was in movies and he was in music. Right? Yo, appreciate you, Ethan. Salute, appreciate you, Ethan. But Tupac, right, the play, they forgetting about the Playboy Mansion. Yo, yo, Vanguardian TV, that's right. They forgetting about the Playboy Mansion. This been going on with the Playboy Bunny, the old man with all them young girls, all of that been going on. That's old news. Nobody said nothing about him. Nobody said nothing about him. But look at LL. Look at all of them. All of them got strange when they went from hip-hop to Hollywood. It changed. It changed them. Once you got popped like Michael Jackson, all of them are strange. All of them are strange. Check it out. Hollywood didn't just make big movie stars. Remember, Hollywood made two presidents. Don't get it messed up. Hollywood made two presidents. And, I'm, and if I'm wrong, it might be more. But in my time, I know Hollywood definitely made Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan got made from Hollywood. They got Holly, they got they Hollywood made those presidents. Say I'm wrong. Say I'm capping about that. Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump were made presidents from Hollywood. From Hollywood. A movie or a TV show is the same thing. A, a movie or a TV show is the same thing. You're fired. You're fired. That made, you're fired. That made Donald Trump, he went from being a billionaire to a pop star from Hollywood. Hollywood, he already had the money. When he made that show, he, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right. Arnold Schwarzenegger, if Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't from another country, he would have been a president too. The Terminator. The Terminator would have been the president. He was the governor of one of the biggest states in America, California. He was the governor of one of the biggest states in America, California. If he wasn't, if we he wasn't from, he's not from America. If Donald Trump was from America and he didn't have that scandal where he got that lady, his maid pregnant, and they got that little Trump, they got that little Schwarzenegger nigga running around. If he ain't get that little, that maid pregnant and had that little Schwarzenegger nigga with her, he would be president, he would have been president too. Hollywood, wax, wax AP, you already know that. Facts on who killed Tukey, man. RP to Tukey, that's right. You already know. <clears throat> Back to what I'm saying. Hollywood, this is before Diddy. This is before them. You heard? But once you get into Hollywood on that next level, you ain't getting that next level money. And let me tell you something. It might be by accident, but... You ain't getting that, that next level of money unless you're doing something strange for some change. 
You ain't with this, you ain't coming up in here. I don't care how good you act. I don't care how good you act. I think only one dude made it through, man, Denzel. Everybody else is over, you heard? <laughs> Denzel, that's it, you heard? As far as A-list, as far as A-list black, Will and all of them is, we know Will and all of them is compromised. Will and Jada, they partied. They party, they party hard. We know that. We know they party. They with, they with it. They with it. We know Will and Jada's with it. LL, he from Queens and all that. LL was with it too. LL was with it too, you heard? You ain't going to be going to the Oscars and talking and doing all that at the Grammys and they not putting you out there if you ain't with it. They not putting your face up nowhere if they know you ain't all the way with it. Straight up. You ain't going to be around us in our parties and doing all this stuff if you're not all the way in. LL was all the way in. Straight up. LL was all the way in. But that's how it is. And you got to remember. You got to remember. Why you think Diddy had all these houses on all these coasts? The White House. You think these parties is legendary for no reason? You think these parties is legendary for no reason? It was going down to them parties, man. You don't want to be there if you ain't with all different kind of stuff. And even people that was, they was everybody, you see people talking like, yeah, I seen this person over here doing this with this dude. And, you know, different, you heard? Straight up. Straight up. Stevie J, you already know what Stevie J about, you heard? You already know what Stevie J about. Jocelyn, Jocelyn done blew Stevie J up a thousand times, you heard? Jocelyn done blew... Stevie J up. Mimi was blowing Stevie J up, talking about he was banging, he was going in the back door, Jocelyn. Why do you think she was saying it like that? Yeah, because she let you, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mimi was always saying that on Love and Hip Hop. Mimi always said that on Love and Hip Hop. Why do you think she was saying it? Why do you think Mimi was saying that? She was saying that with disdain. Like, she was like, you nasty, you a nasty dude type type thing, you heard? That's how she used to be talking to him on Love and Hip Hop. I'm just, am I, am I lying? Am I lying about that? She know what Stevie J was about. They knew what he was about. They knew what he was about. Straight up. Then you got Cassie. <laughs> This is the story. This is the real story right here. This is the whole story right here. You got Cassie. What the likes at? I know it's not 16. Y'all is wailing on the like button. Y'all is tripping. Y'all tripping on the like button. Hit the yo, hit the like button. Stop it. 16 likes, y'all tripping. I know it's more than 16, y'all that like the content. It can't be, it can't be like 50 haters in here. <laughs> it can't be 50 haters in here. It can't, y'all forgot. All right, y'all forgot. It can't be 50 haters. It can't be 50. Y'all forgot. I know sometimes I go into a show and I like it. I'm watching what's going on. I forget about the like button until the person says something and then I go back and hit it. Hit the like button. 16 is, is ridiculous. Come on. I can see if it was like 20 haters, you know what I'm saying? 20, 20, 20 people watching from the sideline. I can, I can understand that. But the Cassie, this is the story right here. Stevie J, that was the warm-up. 
Stevie J threatening the industry. That was the warm up. This is the show. Cassie, you see, I started with that first in the title. Cassie, Cassie is Diddy's co defendant. She was doing these parties with him for over 10 years. She was the one that was getting all the girls, getting the guys to doing all this stuff. Yeah, they tripping on the like, right? They wild on the like. They tripping on the like. Cassie, this is the story right now. We got to at least get half the likes. We got to at least get to 30. Come on, y'all wilding. It's 60, y'all. We got to at least get half the likes. Y'all wilding. Y'all tripping. But yo, listen, Cassie, Cassie, she got the bread. She got the bread, right? Why y'all think she cooperating with the feds? Because she just hate Diddy. I want to take Diddy down. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh He should have never did that to all them girls. He should have never did that to me. You think... She wasn't enjoying herself with Diddy. I'm just saying. She was the one that was ordering all this stuff. She was the one that was getting these girls, getting these guys. Right? She. Right. Kathleen Epstein. Right. Kathleen Epstein. She's the one. She's the one that was doing all the footwork. She was the one. She was with it. She was with it all the way. 100%. Check it out. She was ousted or whatever happened. I think she might have been mad. I think she might have been mad, right? Let's just say Cassie was mad. That's not what got her to go against Diddy. That's not what got her to go against Diddy. Them suits got her going against Diddy. Them suits ran down on Cassie. Like, yeah, look, we know you was doing this. They told us you did all this. Now, either you telling on Diddy's or you going down with them like Kathleen Epstein. She was like, where do I sign? He's going down. He's going to jail. <laughs> Just like these dudes in the street, just like these dudes in the street, they ran down on Cassie. They knew, listen, let me tell you something. We be hearing about these investigations when they're already done. They've been investigating them for a while. They've been investigating this whole situation for a while. Before Cassie came out with the murder investigation, when all that stuff started coming out, a year ago, they've been investigating him. He's been under investigation. They know all his moves. They know all the stuff he's been doing. They came with that file. They came to Cassie with that. That's how, the, that's how they come. They don't play. When they come to get you, they got it. They got everything. They got it. But of course they don't want Cassie. They want the big fish. They want Diddy. They want Diddy. They want the big fish. So she made that, she made that deal. Yo, salute to everybody coming in the building. Make sure you hit the like button on the way in. She made that deal. She made that deal early. Believe me, this deal, we hearing about it now, this deal been made. This deal been, when you start telling on people, and you telling people, I know, I, one thing I know about is the law. When these dudes start telling on people, 
the first thing they're going to say is, damn, how you know so much? How you know so much? You telling that you was there and you was a part of every, once you tell, that means you was on the inside. That means you knew. That means you were a part of it. Am I wrong? How do you know all this? Well, well, um, I had to go get the girls. You know, I, I talked to a couple of guys. I was the one that was getting. Wait a minute. You were getting the guys? You were ordering these prostitutes or whatever was going on? You was getting them? Okay, hold on. Back up, back up. Somebody come over here and read our rights. Read our rights. You implicate yourself when you say this stuff. Anytime you start talking, you start implicating yourself. Me? They can't charge you for not knowing nothing. I mind my business. I don't know shit. What happened? Who? Nah. I don't know nothing. You are once you start knowing stuff, once you start knowing stuff, you start putting yourself in the middle of crimes, in the middle of crime scenes, and you putting yourself in the middle of a situation. That's what Cassie did. She ain't going at Diddy because she hate him. She going at Diddy because she was his co-defendant. She was Kathleen Epstein. That's why she going at, that's why she turned and state evidence on Diddy. Because if not, she'll be going down with him. Let him know, Slim Slim. What up? Salute to everybody that's in the building. Sean Prince, what up? Poker Face Society, I see you, Saladin. What up? I'm just being honest. Once you start talking, you start telling them that you was there, that you was a part of the situation. Once you start running your mouth, all you doing is tightening them cuffs. Every word you say, the cuffs is getting tighter and tighter and tighter till your ass is hog tied. You heard? <laughs> Until your ass is fully shackled in a cell. In a cell right next door, you <laughs> The more you talk. All the talking she did, they said, oh, shit, we got it right here. When they heard, she went, I believe. I believe she tried to tell. They said, oh, we've been investigating this shit. Look, it, the fish jumps, the fish jumped right in the net. We got a big fish. You jump right in the net, you know? She jumped right in the net. If she didn't want to tell us nothing she could do now, there's nothing that she could do now because she put herself in the middle of it. There's nothing she could do. That's his code offended. Cassie is P. Diddy's code offended. She is turning state's evidence on him. That was his Bonnie and Clyde in all his freak offs, in all this nasty stuff that we've been hearing that been going on for all these years. She got mad that he got another young thing from Miami. That's what she really got mad. He got that young thing from Miami. He flossing this new, this new young thing from Miami, you yeah? Oh no, I'm not. What? Oh, what? He got who from Miami? Younger, badder, nastier, thicker, lit, lit as far as music is concerned. He upgraded from Cassie. When he started messing with young Miami, did he upgrade it from, from Cassie? And we all know 
Hell have no fury like a woman scorned, y'all. Yo, Pyrex Nitty, what up? Salute. We all know hell have no fury like a woman scorned. All right. If Cassie's better, put a one in the chat. If Young Miami is better, put a two in the chat. Who y'all think is better? Because I might be wrong. Maybe I'm bugging. Who's more lit? Cassie, put a one, two. Young Miami, put a two. Who more lit? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm bugging out. I don't know. Maybe I'm bugging. Is Cassie put a one of y'all think Cassie is more lit, hotter, better than Young Miami? If y'all think it's Miami, put a two. We got one one. Mr. Limrock said Cassie. Keep going. Oh, Pyrex, did you say Cassie too? I mean, she got that money now, but she got that D, she got that Diddy money now. She got 50 M's now. He just got a lit. She got the money now. Don't I'm not no, I'm not tripping. She got money now. Before that, when we didn't hear about Cassie, young Miami got a beat in every box. As far as I'm concerned, young Miami had a beat in every box. I'm just saying, you know, from what I seen, from what I, from what I, from what I seen, like, oh, what, oh, hold up. Like, hold, hold up, you yeah. I mean, she was, but she was always like little girlish to me. I'm more into, you know, Women, thick, you know, brown, like my wife. You know what I'm saying? I like, she was a little skinny for me, just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I don't really, nice face, but that's about it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I wasn't talking about how small she was. You know what I'm saying, Pyrex Nitty? Ashante, yeah, Ashante got a B too, right? Oh, she loved she loved Puff for the trainer, dude. But nah, I don't think Cassie, I don't think Cassie got nothing on Young Miami. I don't think so. I'm just being honest. But um, Young Miami picked up the torch and started going with it. She was gone. She was gone. You know what I'm saying? Cassie was Diddy's co-defendant. She was involved in all this stuff. Guns in her purse. You know, she was she was Bonnie and Clyde. That was his co-defendant. That Cassie one of the baddest? Oh, no. Nah, I, I, nah. I ain't going to lie. I never looked at Cassie like that. Just being honest, bro. New York, Nikki, what up? I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I never looked at Cassie as one of the baddest. I'm not gonna lie. Too skinny, too skinny. I ain't really with skinny. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know how I go. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. You know what I mean? I like thickness. You know what I mean? Brownness. You know what I'm saying? Just, just me. I'm gonna check her out. I'm gonna check her out. I gotta see, but um, from what I seen, bro, yo, wrong books. What up, yo? Hit the like button on the way in, y'all. Make sure you hit the like button on the way in. But yo, listen, Cassie is only doing this because the feds got on her, got on her hiney. <laughs> listen, you got that money? Get over here. We need to talk to you. We know what you was doing. At the freak offs, without you, them freak offs would have been eek offs. You put the F in the freak offs. 
Yeah. I mean, she got a nice face. I like Cassie got a nice face, but. Word up. Your black soul, what up? But she out, like I said, Cassie, that was Diddy's co-defendant. We all missing that. Nobody's saying that. She's turning state evidence, bro. She, she was one of the people that was a part of committing these crimes against all these other people. They're saying wh whoever it might be, men, women, kids, whatever was going on, she was facilitating the whole situation. She was the one that was going out and putting it together for him. Straight up. Now, I think Cassie is beautiful, though. They, everybody's saying Cassie is dirty. Um, um, Young Miami is dirty. Y'all crazy. <laughs> that girl is clean. That Miami girl is clean. Leave that girl alone. That girl is clean. She take a shower after she get that little pee on her. Miami all plastic. I'm just saying. I ain't, I I know some. I know she has some some work done, but um, I still think she was better than better than Cassie. I'm just saying. I know she has some work done, but yeah, um, Steve. Yes, your man Stevie J. Your man Stevie J. This is how he giving it up. This was Stevie J posing today. Check this out. This is your this is what this is what your man Stevie J posted today. Look at this. This is a threat. He said, This is a Diddy part. This is a threat right here. This is a threat right here. This is a threat right here. Movie. Movie. He said, this is a real, this is what Stevie J posted. Look, Kobe, Dre, the Kardashians. This was a threat right here. This, this video was a threat Stevie J posted today. Hove, Travis Scott, everybody here. Con, they go, yay. And you got Canada up here. You got everybody. Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blodge. Yo, listen. Hold on. Listen. You see that right there? If y'all want Diddy to go down, Mary J. Blodge is going with him too. Mary J. is going too. Y'all want the queen to go down? Y'all better shut up. Y'all better leave Diddy alone. You see, he got the queen in this video, right? He's showing you everybody. He like, yo, listen. I'm taking everybody with me. This is the industry. Look, that go the queen. Snoop Dogg. Queen Latifah, Queen Latifah was down with the freak offs. Look, white people, everybody's in there. Hold on, pause that. Hold on, go back a little bit. Who is that? Who is the people in there? Hold on. Y'all 
going to jail. That's what he said. Y'all can see that clear? Y'all going, everybody's going to jail. Who's that in there? Mary J. Blige was down with the freak off. She got to go too. Mary J. is down with the freak offs. Look, he's showing y'all his party. Look, he's showing y'all what goes down. Yo, what's what's his name right here? Um, everybody's going. Everybody's going. Who that? Sydney Portier, Future. Who that right there? Who that watch? Oh, that's who was your hold on. Who was that? That's a young Michael. Who was that? Oh, Kevin Hart. Y'all gonna use Kevin Hart? Y'all gonna lose Kevin Hart too? Kevin Hart, yo, and yo, blow down his network. Yo, what up, Smitty? Yo, Kevin Hart is going down too. Kevin Hart is going down too. You see Kevin Hart in the middle of all that? Oh, that's Jermaine Dupree. We got Jermaine. We got a tape of Jermaine Dupree too. You see Jermaine Dupree right there, right? You see Jermaine Dupree right there, right? We got him too. Little JD. Little JD going down too. Yo, listen. We ain't going to have no music. Y'all take Diddy down, it's over. We ain't going to. We going to be listening to country, you heard? He going to take the whole hip-hop down, you heard? He taking the whole hip-hop down. We going to have country music after this. Who is that? Who is that right there? Hold on. Look, there you go. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Who was that? That was Funk Master Flex. Funk Master Flex going to. Who was that? Oh, that's what you call. That's the dude that owns BET. He's going to. That's the dude that owned BET. That's the dude that owned BET behind Jermaine Dupree right there. Yeah, we got you two. We definitely got a tape of you two. BET is over. We ain't going to have no BET. We ain't going to have no hip-hop. Son, it's about to get bad on these streets, you heard? Yo, y'all better get y'all Netflix subscriptions now. Prime. Everything is about to go. Ain't going to be nothing out here on these streets. Everything is going up, you heard? Robert Johnson, you are you know who that is. Robert Johnson, you see him behind? He trying to hide his face. Now nah, we see you, Robert Johnson. We see you back there. We see you, Robert Johnson. No more BET. It's over, y'all. Friends, what y'all watch on BET? Sisters or something? That president, that movie about the president and all that? All that's done, y'all. Yo, listen, let's see who else is there. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see who else is there. Hold on. Look at your boy, Travis Scott. Travis Scott right there. What's his name right here? Yo, what's his name? I forgot his name. He made good music, too. What's his name? Y'all think nobody white ain't going down? Yeah, them, 
Well, yo, what's his name right here? Everybody. Yo, what's his name right here? I'm the P. Diddy right here. What's his name? Post Malone. You be I used to be up here in Syracuse, Post Malone. You on Texas top. They got Post Malone too. White people going down too. White people going down too, y'all. That's your man from Canada. What's his name? What's your man from Canada name? Will Smith and him. That goes Will Smith and him, son. What's your man from Canada name? What's your man name right there? What's your man name right here? The Weekend. They got The Weekend too. I'm telling you, bro. They got tapes of The Weekend. The Weekend kind of strange, though, anyway, you heard? Vince Carter. <laughs> Somebody said Vince Carter was in there. Vince Carter. There's some basketball players in here. I seen Kobe. I seen Dre. Oh, he's he's definitely. We already know that's Jaden. Is that the Jaden right there? Yo, that's Jaden right there. You right about that though, D time. Yo, salute. Appreciate you, D time, from the West Coast to the East Coast. You know what we do. The weekend was sus. The weekend is definitely sus. The weekend is definitely sus. Yo, you right about that though, D Tom? That's Jaden right there. Is that Jaden Smith? Y'all know the Smiths is all going down. We is not getting no more blockbusters from Will Smith, Jada, Willow, Jaden. All of them is done, you heard? That whole family is done, you heard? Yo, listen, the whole industry is going down, bro. That's why he put this video out. Everybody at Diddy parties. Hold on. Snoop. No more, no more Snoop. He going to see walk his ass right to the feds. Come on, man. I'm the dog father. Hey, yo. All the Smiths is going, you heard? All the Smiths is definitely going, you heard? They wiping that whole family off the map, you heard? The Smiths is out of here. Hey, yo, so it's out of D. All the Smiths is out of there, you heard? All the Lion of Cohen's. Look at Snoop, front row. Snoop was definitely in them freak offs. Mary J. Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah is about that action. You know, Queen Latifah is over. She just made a she just made a a movie. That might be her last movie we see from Queen Latifah, you heard? I might be the last one. That might be the last, that might be the last movie. You don't see none of them, all these people that's in the party, you don't hear none of them talking about Diddy, that's wrong, he they lying. You don't hear nobody saying nothing. The silence is deafening. Do you hear the sound of that silence? You don't hear nobody but 50 Cent and Stevie J talking. <laughs> 50 Cent and Stevie J and all of Diddy's victims is talking. That's it. That's all you hear videos from. You don't hear nothing from nobody else, bro. Nobody not speaking on this, bro. That's how you know it's bad. That's how you know it's bad, bro. When nobody's talking. Nobody saying nothing. That's how you know it's really bad. 
Hobo to come out. Hobo to say something. Who else they got in here? Hold on. Let's see who else they got in here. Who else they got in here? Oh, that's a federal, that's a federal agent right there. He like, yeah. He got the he got the camera in his lapel. That's a federal agent right there. He like, yeah. All you suckers is going down. Yo, Wax AP, you crazy. Roski was not at that party. Stop it. Come on. Don't put Roski in there. Yo, you wildin'. That was not Roski. That might have been his boy, Toddy. Oh, they got the queens over there. Who's the queens? Hold on. They got the sisters going down? Who is the sisters? Hold on. Who is them sisters right there? Who are them sisters right there? Oh, that's what you call it? Is that, is that, um, is that, um, training day that got our house robbed? Yo, get them, get them motherfuckers. They just robbed me. Is that her? Get them motherfuckers. He just robbed me. They got the queen of Zamunda. They got the queen of Zamunda in there. Nah, what's her name from Training Day? She a singer. Angela Reese. That ain't Angela Reese. Remember, well, yo, what's her name, man? And she was in on um, Training Day and they ran out of her crib. They robbed her crib and they started shooting at Denzel Washington. She was like, get the motherfuckers. They just robbed me. They just robbed me. And they started shooting at them when they ran out the crib. What's her name? Yeah, this is messed up, man. They got the Queen of Zamunda going down. Who the hell? Who the hell is that? Is that son? That's Rich Homie Quad? Oh man, this is where Rich Homie Quan is at. I thought Rich Homie Quan, I thought Rich Homie Quan was on a milk crate. They lost Rich Homie Quan in the freak off. They left, they left Rich Homie Quan in the freak off. Rich Homie Quan is looking crazy, you heard? They not they knock rich homie Quan boots too. Wow. Wow. They knocking they knocking rich homie Quan socks off too. Yo, hip hop man, y'all. Yo, this is an L for hip hop. You heard? All these rappers let Diddy knock them off like this. Oh, they said Rich Homie Quan fell some type of way. <laughs> I thought it was that comedian, that black comedian dude, but that's Rich Homie Quan right there. Look, oh, what, what is Jermaine Dupree pointing at? 
What is Jermaine Dupree pointing at? He said, oh, 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 you ready? What is Jermaine Dupree pointing at, man? What is Jermaine Dupree pointing at, man? What is Jermaine Dupree pointing at, man? This video is crazy, you heard? This is a regular party video. This is before it even got really lit. Yo, this video crazy, you heard? What is he pointing at? What is Jermaine Dupree pointing at? He said, oh, you ready, man? No, no freaky, you heard? What is he pointing at? Look, did he laugh it? Look. Did he like, yeah, got you. Got you. He like, stop, man, stop. He like, stop, man, stop. He like, stop, man, stop. Oh, man. Yo, friend. Yo. Hey, yo, Polo, that's crazy, bro. Yo, Polo, that's crazy. They wildin'. Yeah, you going down, Ben Johnson. We got you. Who is that right there? Oh, he dancing with two joints. Oh, that's what you call it. That's the model. That's the model, right? What's her name? Yo, what's her name right here? Yo, what's her name right there? She a model, right? That's Naomi Campbell, right? Oh, man. That's Naomi Campbell, man. Oh, man. We're going to lose models, everything, you heard? They're about to mess the black. Black Hollywood is about to be over, you heard? They're about to tear black Hollywood down, you heard? They going to tear they going to tear Black Hollywood down, man. It's over for Black Hollywood, man. Look what you did to us, Diddy, man. This is your fault. This is your fault, Diddy. This is your fault, Diddy. Snoop, you're done. D time. Say bye to Snoop, D time. Say bye to Snoop, D time. The dog father, it's over, you heard? You're going to be the jail father now, you heard? d top. All of old ain't no fun. If the homies can't have none, all that is over, you heard? They're taking all that off the shelves. When these videos come out, D-Time, they taking all this stuff off the shelves. Y'all might, y'all better download. Y'all better, all them songs y'all like, y'all better start screenshotting them, screen recording them, and saving them. Because they about to take all this bad boy music, all this music is about to be gone, you heard? We about to be stuck with some nonsense, with some, we going to have to listen to Bismarck and all of them. From back in the days, Big Daddy Kane, you heard? Drill rappers, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff that we used to, we was listening to, we can't listen to none of this stuff no more. Coogee rap, we got to listen to Coogee rapping them, you heard? Y'all women, y'all women don't laugh. Because Mary J. Blige, 
All her albums about to be gone. All her albums about to be gone. All that crying music. All that stuff. What's the 411? Gone. Done. It's over. Reruns. We're going to be watching Good Times and listen to Coogee Rap. Big Daddy Kane, you heard? All that Mary J. Blood, Faith too. You know Faith was down. Faith was with it. All that Faith stuff, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm over. Over. Y'all better leave Diddy alone, man. Y'all better leave Diddy alone, man. That's Machine Gun Kelly. Look, white people too. Oh, that's the other. What's that right? What's the other rapper name right there? Machine Gun Kelly got finger. He got fingernail polish on. Look, Machine Gun Kelly got on fingernail polish. We gonna be listening to De La Soul. Yo, get them De La Soul records out. What's his name? G Easy. G Easy was at the freak offs. Machine Gun Kelly got the fingernail polish on. G Easy, G Easy, and Machine Gun Kelly. We listen to the Daylight Soul. It's over, y'all. All that is, it's all about the Benjamins and all that. All that's gone. It's over. Eminem too. We got tapes of Eminem. Don't think, don't think that white boy getting away. Eminem is not getting away. Eminem is not getting away. Don't think that Eminem is getting away. Don't think the white boys is getting away. Y'all see, you got G Easy and 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 his boy Machine Gun Kelly. I heard some nasty things about Machine Gun Kelly. You heard nasty, nasty things. I don't know what's true. I don't know what's going on. But I heard it's nasty. Too nasty for me to even repeat. Machine Gun Kelly. It's about to be over, bro. That thing over, you heard? Eric B and Rakim, I got the old school list. I got it already ready. You know what I'm saying? Young Miami, all that stuff. They go. Let me, all these new ratchet girls, they all with the Diddy parties already. All them new ratchet girls, Cardi B, Sexy Red, they out of here too. Don't think just because they're not in this, they're not in this picture that they ain't, ain't party with Diddy. Yo, what's 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 the girl that Puff took the girl from his son. What's her name? What you call his daughter? Steve Harvey's daughter. Lori, Lori Harvey. She in the tapes. Lori Harvey going down. Steve might be Steve Harvey might be going down too. We ain't gonna have no no. What's what, what's that show you on the game show? It's over. But the price is right. What do you got? The price is right. It's over. No more church. Y'all know. Y'all know the, the pastors in there. You know they got T.D. Jakes on tape. You know, you know he got T.D. Jakes. No more family feud. No more church services. Kanye got a church. T.D. Jakes got a... 
Kanye and T.D. Jakes are definitely in them tapes. Lori Harvey, Steve Harvey, definitely party with Diddy, you heard? We talking about generations now. They taking generations, you heard? They are taking generations down. Straight up, they are taking generations down. I ain't going front, man. The game is about to be nasty, bro. You know, once that movement hit them, all their music is coming off the shelves. Once this stuff come out, everybody's going back off them. All that music coming up the shelves. Only way this is going to end good if there's no more Diddy. And that's why I'm telling y'all, Diddy better watch his Koofy. Diddy better watch his Koofy. Listen, if Diddy goes away right now, all of this goes away. If Diddy goes away, all of this goes away. Diddy better watch his Koofy, you heard? Diddy better watch his Koofy, because other people got money too. He not the only one with money. And it's some people higher up over him that got money. Yo, 05 voter movement in the building. What up? Yo, what up, China? Listen. Listen. I've been seeing y'all working. Y'all doing y'all thing over there. Or 05 Motor Move, but y'all have some good shows. Listen, if Diddy goes away, all this goes away. I've been telling y'all this for days now. Diddy got to really watch his Koofy. If the people above Diddy think he's going to tell, they might wipe out all the Colbs. The whole Colbs play might just go down with everybody in it. With everybody in it. I'm telling you, you heard? Don't people not playing no games, you heard? Don't people ain't playing no games? Don't people not playing no games, yo? If Diddy's a foreman, they think Diddy gonna tell on him. Diddy is done. Diddy is done. If they think Diddy is gonna tell on them, Diddy is done. Straight up. If he telling, he in trouble. The people ain't playing that. Look at these white boys. Who was all these people right here? Who was all these people right here? Who is all these people? Yo, it's definitely dog for Diddy, yo. It's definitely dog for Diddy. Yo, man, but y'all got me here. I'm crying. It's what it's happened with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bad Mikey ain't been out in a minute. They had Bad Mikey down. But I had to let y'all know that Cassie is Diddy's co-defendant. And all she's doing is turning state evidence. Stevie J is threatening to tell on everybody. That was a warning shot. Go to Stevie J's platform 
And look, that was a water shot. That was a water shot. Y'all know what it is, man. Mr. Hood Love, Mikey B, man. Bad Mike Yard. Salute. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Hood love. Y'all already know. Raw rap. And I'm keeping it 